Hello everyone. I am Suresh Devendra Prabhu, Assistant Professor, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Department of Commerce. Welcome to my video. Uh, this video we are going to discuss for uh, banking section, so banking companies. So section 5 of the banking regulations and define banking as the accepting for the purpose of lending or investment of deposit of the money from the public repayable on demand or otherwise the withdrawal by the check draft order to the other way. So this is the banking. So banking is uh, providing the service sector to their customer is an intermediator so act as an bridge versus uh, for um, lender under the deposit so this is the banking activity right the next one is the futures of the banking company the borrowing raising or taking up of money the lending or advancing of money either upon without security the granting and the issuing of letters of credit then travel traveler's check and um, circular circular notes this one is then another one is the buying and the selling of uh, bullions the buying and the selling of the foreign exchange including foreign bank notes then um, contracting for um, public and private loans negotiating and issuing the same undertaking and the executing interest. So these are the um, important features of the banking company so as a banking company have to have some responsible thing for themselves it has to provide their uh, effective services to their customer. Then only have to maintain the customer level, right? The next one is the accounting system. The accounting system of your banking company is different from your the trading or manufacturing company. Your bank has a large number of customers whose accounts are to be uh, maintained in a such way so that they should be kept uh, up to date. So this is not for um, another manufacturing concerns or trading concerns. So because in the banking se sector accounts will be deferred entirely for uh, compared to the another companies because the banking sector are having the lot of customers throughout the country throughout the world so that time the company have to update their accounts daily so that is the important things for accounting system the next one is the futures of banking uh, accounting system and first one is entire uh, in the personal uh, ledgers are made directly from vouchers this is the first one the second one is from such entires in personal accounts each day the summary sheet in total are prepared the general ledger is trial balance is extracted and agreed every day. This is the we are already discussed because end of the day the bank the prepared the balance sheet had to settle the unentered day account. Yeah, that is the main thing for the bank. The next one is the trial bank of detailed personal ledger in prepared periodically and get agreed with a general ledger. So this is the next one. The last one is the two vouchers are prepared for every transaction. Uh, not involving cash debit and credit vouchers. So these are the important uh, things for uh, banking, important features. The next one is the balance sheet of the XY bank. This is the format. Okay. Um, we are uh, we are uh, already aware for uh, balance sheet format. So in this format, uh, particularly for uh, final accounts, uh, in banking uh, in banking companies they are maintained for this kind of the structurized. The first one is they are giving for liabilities. And next one is the asset and also they are given the schedule number so as per the schedule number according to the schedule number the item will be displayed for example the capital is uh, one uh, resources and surplus is schedule number two and deposits the schedule numbers are three the borrowings are four other liabilities are five so we have to classify it and segregate it for example the current liabilities are comes under the um, other liabilities so schedule number five so if you have taken liability you have to classify it, uh, whether which of the section which are under the come this follows this is the important thing the next one is the asset the cash in hand with rbi this is schedule number six um, balance with the bankers money so this is for uh, schedule number seven and investment this is eight advances are nine the fixed assets are ten other assets are eleven then contingent liabilities are comes under the schedule number twelve so these are the uh, criteria so the balance should should be appear for the this format only so this is for uh, uh, banking company balance sheet format so then this also the same thing we are already we discussed only format now we are given with the amount so the capital is note number one amount is ten thousand so these are the things are uh, this is given right uh, so thank you watching my video thank you